guys what's going on today i wanted to make a video to show you guys how to do glitches because i've been getting some questions for it and i've seen a lot of people that don't know how to do glitches inside of davinci resolve so getting right into it what you're going to want to do is have your clip and just go into fusion with it and then go to workspace scripts at reactor and then open reactor if you don't have reactor installed check out my video right here on screen now there will also be a link at the top right to go watch it now that we're in Reactor, go to the search bar and type in MT underscore. These are the MT effects that are really good and I recommend picking up all of the ones that I have shown here. But what we're gonna be using for this tutorial are the MT glitch tools. So make sure you just install that by clicking the check. And then once it is installed, just restart DaVinci and then you'll be good to go. So now that we're back on the edit page, what you're gonna wanna do is grab your adjustment clip and one of the most popular kind of glitch in glitch editing is a one framer so just go one frame to the right using your arrow key and then cut the clip or control b to split it and then delete the rest so this is your one frame for your glitch and i'm going to be showing you guys the different kinds of setups you can do and effects that you can use to start all right guys now that we're in the fusion page of that adjustment clip as you can see i already have two notes here so I'm going to have a list of effects on the screen now that I recommend for glitch editing. But if you want to follow along, just follow along right now and I'll show you guys how to do it. Right here, as you can see, this is the edge detect. You've probably seen this in a lot of edits. It's a very widely used glitch effect and it's pretty plain and standard as it just outlines the scene. But right here, I'm going to change the denoise type to sharper to add a little bit of more breaking points as you can see into that. So it's not just a bright line. And then after that, you can add a color corrector to change the color. So for me, I'm going to go into a pink. And now what you can do is you can make use of the reactor plugins you just installed. So if you look up ground loop, this is part of the reactor pack, the MT glitch tools. So just add that in. And what this does is it basically distorts all of it into different wavy lines. So you can control the amplitude and everything of that. As you can see here, it'll just change the amount of give it has and the waviness. So you can keyframe this if it's on a longer adjustment clip, but for me, I'm just gonna change it so it doesn't distort it too much, but it distorts it enough to where I like it. So right about there is fine for me where everything's wavy. And now what you can do is you can just play around with whatever other effects you have and find out what you like. But for me, I think I'm gonna add some glow to this. So just hit shift space and go soft glow and then I'm gonna add the soft glow to that and then I'm just gonna change the gain up and the glow size a little bit up as well so there's a lot of effects like I said that you can use so I'm just gonna go and add a mosaic blur right here and what this does is it pixelates the entire screen but it's too pixely so I'm just gonna turn the frequency up so then it goes there and if you want it even more you can just double click the value and break the limits by making a bigger number appear so I'm gonna click 600 and that'll give me the option to turn it up even more the frequency so now i have this kind of blocky effect on all of the lines and this is how our glitch is looking so far and you can just keep adding effects until you like it so for me i'm gonna add a few more effects to this glitch so i'm gonna add scan lines which is basically just a line that goes across the screen that looks like this i'm just gonna turn it all the way up until a point that i like it i think it's still too much so i'm gonna break the limit put any high number and then readjust it there so actually i think i'm gonna turn it up to 40 so then we have these black lines breaking it up there and for another effect for this glitch i'm gonna look up highlight and this is basically s underscore glint if you've ever seen that before so this will just add little bits of stars depending on where you change the slider to so for me i'm just gonna change it up like about till here and then you can change the amount and the size of the stars a little bit up but not too much and then the number of points you can change as well so i'm just gonna keep it at the original four can also change the angle of the way they're looking so that's also another effect that you can add to your glitches so now we have something that looks like this and this is a basic edge detect base glitch so we have edge detect going into color corrector into the ground loop with a glow mosaic blur scan lines and highlight so this is kind of something that you will see a lot of glitch editors use and of course if you don't like the color of the whatever at the end result you can just change it by changing this color corrector and then having all these options you can change the saturation so you can have it be more black and white or way more saturated same thing with the contrast and all that and the key with glitches 
is just to play around until you find something you like and you can just keep adding different effects and seeing how it affects your glitch until you find something you like like with invert or any other effect so going back to the edit page we have our one frame glitch that looks like this but if you want to see what else it can do go to your inspector go down to composite and then just check through all the composite modes so there's darken there's a lot of different effects that it'll just overlap with and you can just go through here and decide if you like anything that looks different compared to your original glitch and you can keep working off of. So once you're done with that glitch, what you're going to want to do is just duplicate your one frame of adjustment clip to either two or three adjustment clips because when you use one framers, you want to have a sequence of them and not a single one. So for me, I'm just going to use two and now you can just right click, go in a fusion and then delete the effects here. And all you got to do is just recreate another glitch and keep going and making unique glitches to make the video and the glitches look different. All right, guys, so I finished making a few more glitches. So this one right here, this is not using edge detect. And I wanted to show you guys that if you want to make glitches, you don't always have to use edge detect. You can use other effects to achieve a glitchy look like this. So for this, I'll show you guys what I use. I use MT glitches and then I use glow. I use a color corrector as well as scan lines and a grain for the pixelation right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking. I would appreciate it a lot and I will see you guys next time. Later.